Getting custom sounds into your level is difficult at the best of times, but I'm going to split this tutorial up into four different sections which should make it a bit easier. Step 1 is making the sound. If you already have a program for this, then use that. If not, download Order City. I've got a link to it on the right hand side of the screen in the description. Also read that for other things that you might need to know before you ask me. Once it's installed, load it up and it'll look something like this. Now, to start recording, you click that button there, the record. It'll come up with all the sound samples that come up when you're talking to your mic. Once you've finished, you click the stop button. Once that's stopped, you go up to file and export as WAV. You can also export as MP3, but to do that you need to download the LAME plugin or something, which just makes it more complicated. So just export as WAV, save it to your desktop, and you're done. Step 2, you need to put the sound file in the right folder. To find the folder, I've got it on my desktop. You won't be so lucky. So you go to My Computer, Search, All Files and Folders, type in your username for Steam. It'll come up with all of the folders. The one that you're looking for has steam forward slash steam apps. There it is. So you find the one with steam forward slash steam apps. And it'll come up with a list of all the games that you can make the maps for. I'm going to choose Counter Strike Source. From here, I double click on C Strike. For Day of Defeat Source, it's just DOD. For Half-Life 2, it's HL2. For Half-Life 2 Deathmatch, it's HL2MP. And so on. But anyway, click on the game you want. From here, I suggest that you get hold of that, right-click, and drag it onto your desktop. Create shortcuts here. So you can just double-click on that for future use. So once you're in the folder, double-click on Sound. And make a new folder. I'm going to call this one my sounds but seeing as it's not going to be on your computer his sounds now this is the folder that you put the sound sample you want to put into the game and here's the one that I'm putting in the game and now on to step 3 stage 3 is nice and easy because you all know about the source SDK so it'll be like going home I'll quickly make a platform go to it from here you place an entity into the level double click and make sure that it is an ambient, A-M-B-I-E-N-T, underscore, generic. Once you've done this, you click on sound name, browse, and look for the sound sample that you want. Oh, listen to that. No, don't actually. Once you've found the one you want, click OK, and apply. You've now got a sound in the game. Now I suggest that you choose Play Everywhere and give the sound a name. I'm going to call this one David. I'm now going to make a button so that when you press the button it plays the sound. I can put that in the level next to it. Oh, what a great button. I'm going to select the button, Control T, and make it a funk underscore button. On the outputs, click add. On pressed, make David play sound. And that's it. It will now work in the game. So if you render the level and play it, it'll work. Just make sure you put a skybox in first, otherwise it's going to be horrible. The final stage simply consists of a really useful program which does it for you. Because if you think about it, the sound sample that you've made is on your computer and is nothing to do with anyone else's computer. So what you need to do is to try and get that on their computer. In the description, there's a link to PackRat. It's a really good program. It helps you to add things to your files. So when you put it on FPS Banana, people download some stuff along with your map. Now, don't put any viruses on it, please. You might need WinRAR for this bit. But you right click on PackRat once it's downloaded. Extract here. You double click on the thing that looks a bit like a gear called PackRat and it comes up with the small program. From here you find the BSP file. In other words, when you render your map, you double click on that file. 
the one that I made is called sound. You can now add things to it. So you click add and you find the sound file. Now to do this you go to the C strike folder. I've got a shortcut to it on my desktop. Go to sound, his sound, batty.wav. Fix path, yes. Now you've got the sound file and the map. You go up to file, save BSP. I'm going to call this one Batty. Stupid T button. Right, now it will work. Thank you for listening to the tutorial. Proof that it works, you can download the BSP file for Batty. Put that in your CS trike forward slash maps folder. Play it and listen to my sound sample. Have fun. Sup, your batty.